Hey guys, I'm gonna film a ridiculously long haul for you guys today because I went shopping all day long and I got a whole bunch of stuff and it's just so long, so let's just jump right on into it. So the first thing, what should I start with? <laughs> went to Bath and Body Works because they had a huge sale going on. It was 10 hand soaps, I believe, for $35. I live in Canada, so I got 10 of the kinds that are like gel. Those are from my aunt. Then I got 10 of the foaming for my grandma. And 10 more of the foaming for me. Um, they don't have bath and body works where they live, so that's for them. Also, while I was there, I picked up a vanilla buttercream hand lotion. I love these. I used to have the cucumber melon one, and these are just super convenient. I keep it in my car. Love it. Then I needed a new, what are these called? Scent portable? It's for like the air freshener in your car, and this one's so cute because it's marble. Oh, she won't focus whatever marble this was like kind of expensive 850 and the hand cream was four dollars i believe that's everything that i got there i won't go through all the scents because no one cares <laughs> then i went to walmart I picked up a pack of elastics these are like the teeny tiny ones i use for kale's hair a thousand of them for like 250 or something i picked up this rubbermaid container of like Tupperware it comes with 18 different pieces and it was only ten dollars and we need some more Tupperware so got that for Kaylee's preschool I'm supposed to send her with some wipes so I got this three pack of Huggies wipes they're just like the individually it's like three separate packs um that I thought this would be good to send with her because I have to send them with wipes <laughs> Then she already has some underwear, but I went ahead and picked her up some more because she'll have like an accident still, like probably like once a day, sometimes every other day she still has an accident, but um, we're kind of going through them a little bit quickly. So I picked up these, which she doesn't have. These are the Fruit of the Loom training pants. So they're supposed to be a little bit like thicker and what is it? Soft liner protects against leaks, tag free, looks and fits like big girl undies. So I got her. That was a pack of three. I don't know how much these, those were. And then the Walmart brand, this one has seven in it and they're bright colors, which she'll like. And then this is a six pack of Frozen undies and they're all in size 2T. Um, I think, what else did I get? Oh, I got a thing of, a big box of tissues. Those are also for her preschool. Um, I was hungry while I was there, so I got a Got these Joe's um, salty sesame sticks. These are super yummy. I like these. They're kind of unhealthy, I believe, but yummy. My mom's upstairs joking around with Kaylee. Oh, I had to move the camera. <laughs> Kaylee's being crazy. Anyways, Walmart. I think the only other thing that I got was a big thing of pull-ups because she still sleeps with pull-ups. Okay, so then I went to Old Navy with my receipt. So I went there looking for some fall clothes for Kaylee, which I ended up finding. And I also wanted to um, see if there's anything for me. I think they've got good. Is that worse? Is that better? I don't know. Anyways, um, I wanted to get some stuff for me as well, but I don't really find too much for myself. Um, I might do a try on portion of this if I can get her to cooperate and if I did and you guys are seeing the toddler clothes on my toddler then a plus for me but let's just get started so the only thing I got for me was from their like active section and it's just this black super lightweight I wouldn't call it a hoodie it's more of like a long sleeve shirt it does have a hood on it but like you guys can see it's just super super lightweight and this was in like their clearance section for $15.97. So not too bad. And I believe I got an additional discount on that. Um, 
yeah i did so for that one i only paid 7.97 so so i only paid 7.97 for that so that was a good price then i got these two sweater dresses and these are so cute and i think that these are gonna look great throughout the fall and maybe even winter um i got this pink one they're kind of like this flared out and they're just long sleeve they're literally a sweater and i thought these were so cute this one says girl what does it say strong girls rule and then i got a black one as well which is the exact same cut and everything it just says in the corner what is it this girl can and like they're legit sweaters like can you guys see it has like cuffing and everything and these say on the tag $22.94 but they were on sale for $10 so $10 for each of those then I got this adorable shirt which I think for one it's this super super soft material but it's just this little like flowy flowy top and it's got such a cute print on it and this was in the actual clearance section. It's in 2T and it says $6.99. I believe that was the actual price I paid. Yeah, it was. Really cute. Then I got her this adorable sweater that is so perfect for fall. It's like this burgundy, what the heck, there we go. Kind of like burgundy, maybe more purpley color. Again, so soft, long sleeve and it has a little flare on the bottom. This is the only thing I paid full price for, I think it was $20. So, good enough. Then I bought her these pants. These were also $20, I think. Actually, no. These were $8.94. They're leggings, but they have like this pleating down the front and also little zippers. So I thought that they're just like a little bit cuter than just plain leggings because that's pretty much all she can fit in pants wise and then i got this dress which is like a lighter weight it's kind of got a little bit of longer sleeves these this was also in the sale for ten dollars i would have gotten more of these because they're such a nice material and i think that they're really cute in the fall for like and i think that they're really cute in the fall with just like some leggings and boots or like tights and boots but this was the only color that had her size so this green one really cute and then the last thing that i got from old navy were some tights pink and oatmeal color and these are like the thicker ones which we need because i want her to wear them in the fall and into the winter and we live in canada <laughs> okay next place i went was whole foods I don't ever go here because one, it's expensive, and two, it's not really close. But we wanted, I was with my best friend when we went shopping, and we wanted to like kind of look into it and see what it was like. So we went there. Also, I wanted to see the options because I'm going to be doing a diet challenge thing in the future. Not right now. Anyways, I just picked up things, a few things. I got some frozen chopped kale because I hate fresh kale, but I want it for my smoothies. So, frozen chopped kale. This is my favorite coconut milk. It is the So Delicious Coconut Beverage Dairy Free Vanilla. I needed another. Also, Kaylee's been drinking this. Um, but this is what I like to put in my smoothies because I like the texture of it. It's a lot more like thin and it's vanilla so i like it it's not super healthy but 80 calories per cup so whatever got that then i picked up a bag of rainbow carrots i thought these would be kind of fun to change it up for kaylee a little bit plus i like carrots so we got those i picked up a salad for me to have for lunch this is the man's power blend it's brussels sprouts cabbage kohlrabi i don't know what that is Broccoli, carrots, and kale. It says that you can toss it, blend it, or cook it. Actually, that would be kind of interesting to blend it. Anyways, I just needed a salad for tomorrow for lunch. And I have never tried quinoa before, and I don't know anything about it or if I even like it. But I've seen so many recipes, especially recently, with quinoa in them. And people always talk about quinoa and, like, quinoa salads and stuff. So... I went ahead and got a little tiny bag of it just to try and 
There's a recipe that I saw on the back of this one. This is the reason I bought this particular brand. It was because there was a recipe on the back for a quinoa and kale salad with like tomato and lemon and you can add pine nuts or sunflower seeds. And I don't know, but that sounds really, really simple and easy. So got that and that's all that I got at Whole Foods. Now let me show you what I got at Sobeys, which is where I did the majority of my grocery shopping. I'm back. The lighting is totally different because it's several hours later now. But I'm gonna show you everything that I got at Sobeys and Longo's, which is like just two grocery stores. I really did not get that much looking at all of it, but it's just some like staple things that we needed for like fill in and whatnot. Let's just get started. And I don't know what's from where because it's yeah. First thing that I got was a little pint of ice cream. I've been trying some different ice creams. Um, Halo Top, of course, which some of them I'm not a big fan of. And I also tried like North. I can't think of what the name is, but um, I just got a hot nose. This is pineapple and coconut flavored, and I just thought it would be good. And I really wanted ice cream while I was there, so got that. Then I got a big old thing of diced tomatoes. I got the most amazing cereal ever, which is the Rice Krispies vanilla flavor. This stuff is amazing. Would recommend it. It's super unhealthy. But it is so delicious. I got a little mini thing of french fried onions. I like these on salads just to like add a little crunch. And it's better than putting like croutons, like a ton of croutons. So. I got a dozen eggs. We go through eggs pretty quickly now. I never used to, but like between my mom baking and me like having just eggs for breakfast and stuff, we kind of go through a lot. Um, we already have a big thing of potatoes that I got like last week, like a big like 10 pound bag. Um, but I just got these little ones, this little trio of colors because I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, we'll just do the rest of the veggies, I guess. I got two cucumbers because we go through cucumbers pretty quickly. I picked up a red, this is not red, I'm your colors, Emily, even your toddler knows your colors, a yellow pepper. I picked up three honey crisp apples, I already ate one. I know I picked up rainbow carrots, but I got a bag of regular carrots as well. I prefer these carrots to like little mini baby carrots because um, I think they taste better and they last better like in your lunches and stuff so I bag of regular carrots as well. I got a stalk of celery. This is something I eat pretty quickly as well. I'll make like a veggie tray for lunch with like cucumber, celery, carrots. Good to go. Um, frozen veggies wise. I I think I've gotten this before, but I couldn't remember for sure. So I went ahead and just picked up one. It's the Gian Green Giant Simply Steam Brussels Sprouts in Butter. Um, it's 90 calories for half of this package. So I don't know, but I do like Brussels Sprouts, but I find cooking them just kind of a little pain. So I thought that this would be a good thing, especially for work if I'm trying to add veggies. I up some frozen cauliflower because I actually don't like cauliflower. And then I picked up some oregano, um, which is for a couple of recipes. And then the rest of it is like, just like random stuff. I got a thing of juice boxes. This is apple, yeah, apple for kale. And my mom takes them for lunch sometimes too. <laughs> um, sour cream, my mom needed. And then non-salted, butter for recipes. This one's kind of smooshed, but whatever. I was gonna get these at Walmart, but I completely forgot. So Kaylee drinks um, like some kind of like supplement type drink every morning, and we used the last one this morning, and I was at Walmart today, so I could have picked them up there, but I forgot. So I just picked up this four pack of Pediasure Complete Chocolates. This is like, she drinks Pediasure most of the time anyways, so they're just a little bit more expensive if you buy them elsewhere. I got these to see those in grilled red pepper and 
tomato salsa flavored Tostitos chips. That sounds like really good to me for some reason. So got that to try. Um, cheese trio goldfish for Kaylee. Also for Kaylee, brown sugar maple. No, isn't it brown sugar maple the other one? Is this a different one? Hopefully she likes it. Um, instant oatmeal because we have these some mornings, especially if like a babysitter is watching her or something. These are super easy, so she got that one. I mean, they're not healthy, but like, whatever. And then the very last thing that I got, um, during the summer I posted, I got sticky rice and made this coconut sticky rice. I don't think I did a video on me actually making it, but I think in the haul I mentioned that I was gonna do it. And plot twist, it turned out really well, which is surprising because I can't cook. So, um, I went ahead and got another bag of rice, just like plain sticky rice. Yeah. Anyways, that is all that I got today. I know it was a ton of stuff. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch the entire video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so everything was laying on the floor in front of me, and somehow I managed to miss four things that were laying on the floor. So I got Campbell's soup. This is like or not Campbell's soup, Campbell's chicken broth for a couple of recipes. 30% um, less sodium. I got a thing of yellow mustard because I'm going to make ham and I use mustard for that. Um, I got a pear leaf lemon, the pomegranate is actually my favorite but they didn't have it so. Lemon. And then I got this super quick and easy fully cooked beef pot roast. These are one of those things that you just like on a night where you don't want to cook or like you're running out of time. So I got that. I don't think I've ever had that. And then this in here is a pork tenderloin, which is something I also don't try. I don't have that a lot, but I found a really good recipe. Actually, it was from HelloFresh. Um, and we did it and it was really, really good. So I'm going to recreate it again. No, that's actually everything I got.